Hi and welcome back to my stitching session on Bewitched by Lisa Parker. Um, I've decided I'm going to do a little bit of this section up here and it's kind of full of confetti so that's going to be a bit of a drag but um, I do make sure that I have my threads out ready to go before I start that particular 10 by 10 square and it just makes it that bit quicker. Now I use quite a large needle for this as well because I find that it's much quicker for me to actually get my threads in fast if I'm using a bigger needle and this even weave is quite stretchy. I mean I've pushed in a large needle and found that it hasn't, hasn't actually altered the holes in any way so I feel like I can get away with that. So that's my first stitch and I will park my needle down on the next uh, hole where it's needed. The only trouble with having a square that's full of confetti is that you're going to spend a lot of time parking and taking your thread out of the needle and re-threading your needle and it just isn't for some people. I know that it can be quite boring and some people find it tedious in many ways but there is one thing to be said about it and it's methodical which means that the method is understood and you know where you're going and you're not going to get into any sort of tangles or there'll be no surprises with having missed a stitch or anything like that because you're basically working in in either rows or whether they're vertical or horizontal it doesn't matter now I just did a loop start there with one tiny little piece of thread. I find that if I have incidences where I only have to do one tiny little stitch I will simply um, just take a little tiny piece of thread, do a loop start with that one stitch, fasten it off and just continue. So I think the worst thing for me is if I happen to park in the wrong place. Now that is a complete mess because if I've parked in the wrong place then it's then I'm confused as to where I should have been parked or where my if I get another thread that should have been parked in that particular hole and now it can't I can't park it there because there's another thread inside it well as you can imagine it's just like complete calamity ah right okay so I've got a good size strand here, two strands actually, so I'm not going to do a loop start with these two strands. I'll show you how I do this. If I have to use a couple of strands that are not going to be used as a loop start, and I want to do these two stitches up here, I'm going to go in from the front, say about here, outside of my square, and leave a little knot at the front. This is called a waist knot, which means that you can just snip it off later on. And then I'm gonna go up to my actual stitch, do that stitch. So there's one stitch, two stitches. Now I think I'll just leave that waist knot there until I've done a couple of rows and then it will be covered. And then I can simply snip this off just ease it out a little gently and then snip it off later on. And then you'll have no tangles at the back, there'll be no knots, there'll be no um, ugly looking threads. 